Today we have a 2011 Buick Regal CXL 2.4 motor. Uh, the customer says that the back brakes are making a noise. So we're gonna replace the rotors and pads. We're gonna show you where they're located and how to do it. We of course start by taking the tire off. These have to be eights. Uh, you can see there's uh, the pads are wore out, but you can see on the rotor, how it's got all these lines and stuff like that. Uh, it's got grooves in it. So it's not uh, performing properly. So we're gonna replace the rotor and the pads. To hold on your, your rotor, it has a T30, Torx 30. Just back that baby out. Start taking the caliper off. Okay, on the back holding your caliper, you got two 13 millimeters, one there and one up here. We're gonna remove those. Stuck with it, just put a screwdriver in there, pry it up, put this off the side, and you can see these haven't been changed in a while. Now the caliper bracket, it's right here. There's a 15 here and a 15 here. We just got to remove those two. So you can tell by all the uh, the grooves, you know, it wasn't wor working properly, uh, but there's rust on here, it's just not coming off, so you might have to persuade it a little. We'll go check it with a new one. These happen to be from CarQuest, which is Advance. Um, these are the platinum ones. You got uh, like a silver, gold, platinum. These happen to be the best, that's what they required. Uh, these rotors are painted, and they actually have a two year warranty against warpage, which is a pretty good warranty, so that's why I like those. Um, of course, you always take this and you clean it first. Get any, uh, when they store it, they put some kind of coating on it to keep it from rusting. Okay, I already matched this up to make sure that they were the same size and everything. So now we can install this and put our keeper back on it to hold it in place. Just mash the pads up, make sure the same thing. Like I said, this is the Platinum. It's got squeakers on both of them. Same as this, same size, but you can see on this one, there's no material left, so we caught it at the right time, even though we're replacing the rotor anyway, but you can tell the difference in the thickness. These, of course, are your slide pins. And you want those to work properly, otherwise the brake won't work properly. So what we're gonna do is lube the heck out of that. And I like this stuff, it seems to work really well. Grease the heck out of it. Hopefully it'll last another 40,000 miles or so. There's one. And sometimes they have a little rubber on the bottom of them, so just make sure whatever one you take it out of, you put it back in the same one. Sometimes when I get it apart like that, I like to just install them out here. Make sure they move nice and easy. You don't want these sticking. Otherwise, it's going to wear your brake pads prematurely. We're ready to go install it. This, of course, is our new rotor. Just put that in place. You can see it's the holes lined up. So I use the T30 to install that so it holds the uh, rotor in place. Next thing I do is install my caliper bracket and my pads that are already installed. Start these by hand. That one's going. Okay, so both are going. Once that's like that, just push them in so it's against the rotor, and I'll tighten up the back bolts. Now we're just going to tighten up these two 15s. the 
snug that one. I'll go up and tighten up the top one. And then do this one one more time. Finish it off. Okay, it's snug. tight back there and make sure this one's tight tight okay now a lot of these pistons are just where you just push them straight back uh, for whatever reason this one has one that's slotted like that so you actually have to screw it back in and this is the tool that we're going to use you can see it's got those two notches and what that does is just fit in there like that it falls in there flush and then we're going to push it back. I'm going to show you the kit that we got this out of. This is the kit we got it out of. This is the right side. It was a number six. And this is the bracket we need. But if you, you don't want to purchase this for just doing it once in a while. So you can get a loaner tool from like Advance. And as long as you return a certain amount of time, uh, they put it right back on your credit card. And it didn't cost you a dime without purchasing the, the, the tool. So it's kind of handy that way. As you can see, we put that against there like that. So it's flush. And then you screw this backwards. You're gonna to have to get, get a crescent wrench. Okay, now it's in there. Now you gotta tighten it up. And you, what you're actually gonna do is screw this crazy thing in. Not a great design, but it's somebody's idea, so I guess it had to be good for a reason. Okay, once it's tight like that, you're gonna turn it. And it starts to go right there. Okay, but now the thing is, you gotta keep moving this the whole time. Otherwise, it'll fall off. So you got to keep this tight. And then turn. Like that. And it'll push it in nice and easy. You can see when I turn it in like this, it's going in. But you got to keep the pressure on it to push it in. So you got to keep doing that. I like to put this on. They already have this to prevent squeaking, but just spray that, just anything that'll help. Okay. And now our calipers flush, you can see that. Sometimes these have to be lined up if they have a pin on the back side of these back here, uh, but this doesn't seem to have it, so that's not gonna be an issue. Otherwise, this might have to be straight across like that to line it up, but it doesn't need it. So just put it on like that. Push my slide pin in right there. Push the other one in and I'll install my bolts. Last thing we do is install our bolts and then tighten up with our 13. Okay. Tighten these up. Tight. Not to get in the way of the camera. So I can't see it. There it is. And of course, on this bottom one, start to spin. You can either put an open in wrench on there or just put a vice grip down there just to keep it from spinning on that one. Like that. tight okay tight tight caliper brackets are tight our hose isn't kinked so that's good last thing we do is install the wheel start all the lug nuts by hand and we're going to tighten in a crossing pattern you see how it pulls it down like that just go around double check it And that's all it takes to install rear rotors and pads on a 2011 Buick Regal CXL with a 2.4 motor.